This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Donald Trump seems hell-bent on claiming privileges from being an ex-president. He thinks that uh, the fact that he was president, that he, he that, that, that the, 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 <laughs> the privileges that came with it have transferred over to civilian life for him. They followed him to Mar-a-Lago. He is suing Twitter to get back on the platform and using w- w- weird legal arguments that are getting c- completely just smashed by judges, making weird arguments about having been president and that somehow makes him immune from the rules that everybody else has to follow. I'm going to read a little bit from this Business Insider article. Florida federal judge says Trump's former status as U.S. president doesn't exempt him from Twitter's terms of service. On Tuesday, a Florida federal judge ruled that former President Donald Trump's status as a U.S. president doesn't exclude him from Twitter's terms of service, court documents seen by insider shows. Uh, Donald Trump doesn't mind losing in court, being completely embarrassed because he is without dignity. He is without shame. He doesn't possess whatever characteristic that the rest of us do that we feel ashamed of ourselves when we do something wrong, when we act inappropriately, when we wrong another person, when we inflict harm on someone. He doesn't, do, he doesn't possess that. And I'm going to get to this argument that they're making, and it's a doozy. But before I do, a word from today's sponsor, Surfshark. Amidst all the chaos of the news, I have been dreaming of a quiet getaway somewhere tropical, maybe. Somewhere I can go and be anonymous with fewer people around. St. Kitts, maybe, or Barbados, or Trinidad. Whenever you leave the country, though, you must consider your safety. And not just your personal safety, but your digital safety as well. Enter Surfshark. Surfshark is a virtual private network, or VPN, that encrypts all your data to keep it safe from the prying eyes of the web. Using Surfshark, you can securely cruise the internet from anywhere in the world. With over 3,000 servers in more than 60 countries, you will have Surfshark with you wherever you travel. And with their no borders function, you'll be able to access all of your typical E destinations. Facebook, your awesome Netflix library, regardless, of whether your location allows for it or not. Right now, as a member of my audience, you can get 83% off of a two-year Surfshark plan, plus three extra months for free at surfshark.deal slash dollamore. Using code dollamore, you'll pay just $2.21 per month. And they have a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can try it absolutely risk-free. What is there to lose? For just $2.21 per month, you can run Surfshark on all of your devices, all of them, as many as you want. And Surfshark lets you browse incognito with all of them. They never collect or use your browsing information. So check it out. Simply click on the link in the description below or head to surfshark.deal slash dollamore and use code dollamore. Always surf in safety. So let's talk about this. In July, Trump filed a lawsuit in Florida against Twitter and its CEO over the permanent suspension of his account on January 7th, a day after the Capitol siege. The suspension was made on the grounds of Trump inciting violence through the platform, Twitter said at the time. The former president cited censorship concerns in his lawsuit, saying that social media giants such as Facebook, Twitter, and Google were quote-unquote silencing conservative voices and were being coerced by Democratic lawmakers. <laughs> well, it's nonsense. Talk of Talking of shadow banning. We've seen these idiots talk about cancel culture or censorship while they're actually on a, a news program. We've watched Marjorie Taylor Greene with her censored uh, face mask while talking into a microphone on the floor of the United States Congress. Their arguments don't hold up. They are not cogent. And here is where Donald Trump is going to get smacked down. 
On Tuesday, Florida District Judge Robert Skolan Jr. granted Twitter's motion to transfer the case to the Northern District of California as required, as required, you know the terms of service when you sign up for Twitter, if you're on Twitter. If you are, you should follow me. I'm at Dollamore. <laughs> but any terms of service, whether it be iTunes or whatever, it's a long legal document. Most of us just click yes, accept, whatever, and move on. Maybe that's what Donald Trump did. He doesn't understand what's in the terms of service. But in the terms of service for Twitter, it's required in a clause that in the, the, the social media's user agreement that uh, any kind of lawsuit will be in a, a particular municipality. And that's the, in Northern California, not in Florida, where Donald Trump lives. Motion to transfer the case to the Northern District of California as required by a clause in the social media company's user agreement, which all Twitter users sign. Here we go. Trump's attorneys said he was exempt from the clause because he was the sitting president at the time of his account suspension and that it was in the public's interest to keep the case in Florida. How, pray tell, dum-dums, is it possibly in the public's best interest that Donald, the case isn't uh, carried over to a district in Northern California? What benefit is there to the general public? There's a benefit to Donald Trump, but it is stupid that Donald Trump is immune because he was the president. It doesn't make any sense. And the judge agreed. They failed to convince Scola, quote, the court finds that Trump's status as president of the United States does not exclude him from the requirements of the forum selection clause in Twitter's terms of service, he said. Because why would it? Why would being an ex-president exempt you from anything other than maybe flying commercially? Trump resides with his wife, Melania, and their son, Barron, at the Mar-a-Lago Resort in Palm Beach, Florida. That poor kid. I'm being serious. Imagine being raised or being raised around. Donald Trump's not raising that kid. Apart from suing Twitter, Trump has also launched legal action against Facebook and Google and their CEOs for barring him from their social media platforms. Earlier this month, Trump filed a request for a preliminary injunction to have his Twitter account reinstated, saying that the Taliban was allowed to tweet its military victories in Afghanistan while he was censored. He announced last week that he would launch his own social media network, Truth Social to stand up to the tyranny of big tech. <laughs> a report later said that Truth Social had violated a license agreement and that the platform had 30 days to resolve the violation before it would be sued. That I've already talked about in a video. Uh, you should check that out. Put a thumbnail up here if we haven't already. Um, the, there's a lot going on with that. But look, th this is good news that Donald Trump is not be being treated favorably or with deference or unlike any other citizen of the United States. Just because you're an ex-president doesn't put you in higher esteem. It doesn't put you in higher station uh, of any other American. We would have to abide by, if we were suing Twitter, it would, because of the user agreement, have to take place in that particular jurisdiction where Twitter uh, is headquartered. We wouldn't get to say, well, that's not what, I'm, I'm a former whatever. I'm a former librarian. Uh, that doesn't apply to me. I'm immune from that particular clause in the, in the, the terms of service. It's nonsense. And it's good that Donald Trump is finally being treated in some ways, some small measure, like a regular person. What do you think, though? I would love to know. You can call, leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. Follow me on social media, at dollamore, all the way across the board. And if I bring you value, please consider supporting my work helping produce my work on the platform for as little as two bucks a month. You can become a channel member by clicking the join button, or if Patreon is more your way, you can go to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast and help support my work there. That's not just for the podcast. Obviously it's also supporting my work here.
I love you guys. I appreciate you. I will see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.